Hi guys, this is Radu and today I'm going to explain to you the 10 steps that you have to do to become a medical specialist in Switzerland. I decided to do this video after Irina posted her uh, two videos on this subject which are in Romanian and we have a lot of people which are very interested in the information. They don't speak Romanian so I made these videos for you guys. If you do speak Romanian, go on Irina's channel all this information is going to be explained in her videos so you don't have to bother uh, with this one so starting the first step and first thing you have to know about um, about uh, becoming a doctor in Switzerland is how much do you get paid that was certainly the the thing that motivated me at the beginning um, in Switzerland it de depends on the canton which you work in but to round it up I would say a resident doctor in his first year would make about 90,000 francs a year or 7,000 francs a month brutal uh, wage after taxes you kind of you are left with about 5,000 francs which sounds like a lot but you have to remember life in Switzerland is quite expensive it is not uncommon to go into a restaurant in Switzerland and pay 50 francs per person per meal and drinks. So uh, just take that into account. The second step, and perhaps the most important one, is to learn the language that you are going to be speaking in Switzerland. In Switzerland, there are more than one. There's more than one national uh, language, and you can learn any one of these and apply it for a job in the canton, cantons that speak these languages but I would say the best chances you have is to learn German and to apply in a German speaking canton just because most of Switzerland does speak uh, German well Swiss German and you have far better chances of finding a job in these cantons in the other cantons um, where they speak French and Italian I also would say the the competition is higher because a lot of speak people that are Italian or French speaking apply there, so it's um, it can be more difficult to get a job, and also the wage may be a little bit lower in uh, these cantons. Then step three is choosing the uh, speciality which uh, you will do in Switzerland. We will be linking a website where you can find all the different specialties in Switzerland they're a little bit different than other countries what I find very nice about uh, residency in, the residency in Switzerland is that you can change from one specialty to another without losing that time for example in Romania if you if you choose gastroenterology and you kind of you do like two years and then you decide you want to do something else you have to go from the beginning in Switzerland if you say do uh, two years in let's say cardiology and then you want to change to say um, psychiatry you can get at least one year recognized from your uh, re residency on uh, cardiology which is very nice because you have a little bit of leeway uh, you can try some other things and if you're like me maybe you're not sure what exactly you want to do at the beginning so maybe you want to uh, explore some other specialties um, and also every year your wage increases so you don't lose uh, anything by changing well you do lose a little bit of time but the your wage still still keeps going up so you can do this for a while it may just take you a little bit longer to become a specialist which is no problem fifth step is applying for the job to apply for the job you need your CV, you need a, your letter of intention and a nice photo of yourself uh, and these, these uh, things you will send to the hospitals where you will be applying. Uh, one thing I would say is pay very att close attention uh, on how your letter of intentions is written that it doesn't uh, contain any kind of grammatical uh, mistakes or errors because they do keep on... Uh, they do uh, watch out for that um, uh, a doctor in this hospital where I applied actually did tell me once well you speak really good but when I wrote your letter of intentions it consider, con, uh, contained some errors I was a little bit mm, I was not quite sure about you 
So just remember that. Then you apply for um, the job, you go to the interview, you take the interview. Uh, at the interview, the doctors, the, the, the one thing that uh, they want to know is how good do you speak German? which is why it's very important, German or one of the other languages, which is why it, it's important for you to, uh, to, to, to practice and, and, and learn as much as you can. On this uh, topic, I'm going to make a different uh, video one day uh, describing the way I learn German and uh, what could help you in this process. So you applied for the job, you went to the interview, and they say they're going to hire you. What, what's next? The sixth step is to get your medical degree recognized in Switzerland. For that, you apply to two institutions, Mebeco and Medreg. To Mebeco, you apply your medical degree, which will be recognized in Switzerland through the recognition process, which also costs uh, something like 800 francs, which is a lot of money. But you can make kind of like a deal with the hospitals where you're going to get hired, that they lend you this money and then you will pay it back from your first salary if you're short on cash and then Medreg is the second one here you will uh, you will apply with your language degree and they will recognize it and then give you a certificate that you can speak uh, the German language uh, to a level of uh, B2 or whatever level you have the seventh step or seventh thing that uh, you have to know is the work contracts in Switzerland are different um, many contracts contracts they uh, run for a period of uh, let's say of uh, a year actually it's the most common one and this is because in Switzerland you actually have to go from hospital to hospital during your residency it's actually not allowed to stay in the same hospitals and do your entire residency and this is for the purpose of you going getting to know different teams how they work different you will have different mentors on your way and this is all so that you will become the best doctor that you can possibly become. Then eighth step is to register on the FMH register of uh, doctors in Switzerland. Here you will register with your uh, doctor's credentials. And after you register on this website, you will receive your own catalog. And this catalog is going to be necessary to complete for you to receive your degree as a specialist and depending on the specialty that you have you have to do different things so for example if you are a surgeon you have a certain numbers of operations and techniques that you have to perform every time you perform them you receive you receive a kind of a report uh, this report you are going to upload on the FMH register and at the end of the residency you will prove with this catalog on FMH that you did everything that you had to do to uh, receive your specialist degree. Then step number nine is the, sp the specialist exam. It mostly consi con consists of two parts. One is theoretical and the other one is practical, meaning you, uh, uh, you are uh, another doctor is examining you personally. Depending on the specialty, it differs, but in most specialties, you have to take these exams and pass them uh, in order to um, get your specialist exam. And then step number 10, you are a specialist doctor in Switzerland. Congratulations on your journey. Um, I must say maybe it seems um, difficult from the outside but looking at, back at it we had a good chance here. We met good people and re uh, getting a job in Switzerland was not as hard as we thought. So if you are thinking about it, uh, give it a shot. You have nothing to lose, and trust me, uh, it's well worth uh, it's well worth it if you get into the system. And as a friend told me, the most difficult thing is getting in the system. After you have your first job, then it's just a smooth uh, way on your road to become a specialist. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you speak Romanian, go and subscribe to Irina's channel. She'll be posting more information about this topic. I'm also going to be doing a uh, questions and answers video with uh, questions that I have received because I don't have time to answer them in person. But I will be, I'll, I'll be trying to uh, get in touch with you guys via video. So stay tuned.
All right. Have a nice day. See you next time.